and guys and girls going in. Check this thing out, man. Serious engineering going on here. Vintage dragster is pretty cool. Like the engine like right in front of your face. That's why they outlaw them, and you're actually sitting on the differential. The differential's in your lap, which could grenade at any second. <laughs> and that's why they stopped racing them. There's the Cox car. Remember this guy? When we were kids. This is a baby. No, it says, it says Pinto, funny guy. Cox, Pinto. Was, there it is, right there. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, that's I remember this car when we were kids. What's this one? What's Krieg? I remember this too. Remember this car as a kid too. What's Creed? Pretty cool. Old vintage Jagsters, all of them. But you can see why they don't run them anymore because too dangerous, man. That engine grenades and it's right in your face. So, all right, guys. I know it ain't motorcycles, but there will be motorcycles later. So keep watching. What's going on, guys and girls? I'm Nick. Check this thing out. Looks like it's got a little bit of power. A little bit of power. Pipes right behind your head. Two hundred miles an hour and a thousand feet. Thousand feet, two hundred miles an hour. Anyway, races are ra rained out today, so we're not going to see any. Sorry, guys. That's what the track looks like. Water. So no racing today. It's cool. See you guys. What's up, guys and girls? Oh, and Nick. So I have a new appreciation now. For riding slow bikes as long as you're riding in the country like where I live it's it's real relaxing man so I bought this bike I traded a, a uh, BSA Hornet for this bike like two or three years ago and hadn't ridden it in a couple years I pulled it out today and it fired right up second kick man it started right up these bikes are kind of cool because they're so primitive. They're like tractors. It's really dirty. I gotta clean it yet, but 
even the choke, the choke's just the air cleaner cut off. So you go like that and it cuts off the air cleaner. But this bike's pretty original. No one's really messed with it. I put the bags and the luggage rack on it. But it, it's, it's, it's a trip to drive because it doesn't have a regular telescopic front fork so it doesn't dive when you brake. So it's a lot of like DKWs and stuff. So it's, you gotta get used to riding it. And it's slow. But it will do like, I've done 80 on it. It, 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 the speedometer goes to 120 so I don't know I don't think it would ever do 120 though I think Bobby about 100 would be top speed but good looking scooter it's a good looking bike and it sounds great Puts right along man you know there it's tractor quality there it's a tractor clean it now because it hasn't been cleaned in a couple years and it was in the back corner of the shop we had to move like 20 bikes to get it out so i didn't realize how dirty it was so all right guys hit that share button for me i appreciate it by the way this is a 62 r60 slash 2 i think that that's the model they call it. i'm not a no beamer expert but i'm pretty sure that's what they call this bike so all right see you guys What's going on, people? Oh, well, Nick, down at Sport Wheels. Found a stash of some good stuff. Nice KZ 650. Really nice Honda 750. Look pretty, pretty bone stock. Real restorable. Even has the original exhaust pipes on it, and they ain't rusted at all. That's hard to find there. Let's see what else we got back here. Cowie Triple 250. That's another rare bird, too. Scooch back here. Cowie 900. Yamaha 750. Never was a fan of those. Suzuki. 350 two stroker. Another Cowie triple first year, too. Not stock, but 69, I believe. Another Cowie triple. Another Cowie triple. Cowie triple's coming out of the woodwork, man. Yeah, this Honda, that Honda's nice. Pretty unmolested bike there. Let's see if I can figure out how to get out of here without hurting myself. I'm in here looking for a charger generator from my Sunbeam. Because all that whole wall is British. All British parts. But I ain't finding a generator. But there's one more building full. Cushman's, anyone wanting Cushman's? Denny's got plenty of them. Two Benelli 650 Tornadoes, first year. With the nice front drums. I think I'm going to take one of them home. Because I got that Mojave, Mojave Riverside Nova once with those 650 motors bolt right in them. That was the original 650 Tornado was the Mojave frame. Nice Triumph Trident. Like really sharp. Clean, unmolested. Bone stock, got the nice exhaust, CBX. Let's see if I can get better lighting because the sun's coming in that door. There we go. That's nice too. GT750, Honda CBX Super Sport, 504. Nice Triumph. All nice bikes. I believe they're, they all go to the UK. see what's out here yep I didn't find it to check out the other building some good stuff out here that's nice could be nice XT 600 
look at this crazy contraption. Someone tried to put, put a dirt bike in there, dirt bike engine in there. Look at the extension they made for the Kickstarter. It looks like they gave up after they couldn't make the pipe work. People do some dumb crap, man. Hey, uh, Joe, can we look in that eBay room? What? Can we look in that other room? What room? Where all the British pallets are in that room. You mean where the stuff used to be in that room? Oh. All yeah. that, all that, uh, those engines that used to be by the door, Jenny took that stuff out of there. On, over in front of the big door? That's all CJ's coats now. Are you sure? Yep. He, just told just me, in there. he just told me go in that building all the way to the back. Oh, yeah, on the way back there's some junk. Well, I don't have a key for that one. Oh, okay. All right. All right, guys, keep watching. Hit that share button for me. Or if you're on YouTube, just follow my page. Thanks. Okay. I showed you guys this, this before. This thing is so cool. If I make my camera focus in, my light will go out. So I just want to show you real quick the patina on this before I turn the light out. Because it's really cool. It's legit. It's got really nice patina. I mean, definitely cool, man. Finding stuff like this untouched is getting harder and harder and harder. Okay, I'm going to turn the light out, and then I'll focus. There you go. So you can see the whole thing. It is cool. I love the overhang for the rider. In case you get caught in the rain. You can pull over and not get soaked. It's cool though. I don't know how original this is because I don't know the history of it. But it, it looks legit to me. But people are good at making stuff look old now. But that, the bike wasn't. The bike was old. I don't know. It looks pretty legit. 1942 plate on it. It's pretty cool. I, I love to have it. It'd be something cool to have. See what we got over here. I see an Italian. I see an Italian. Coyote 900 Super Sport. These bikes are stupid money right now. Very expensive bikes, but they are really cool bikes. I love that they had a real dash. They were good bikes. But yeah, selling for big money nowadays. All right, got a lot, lot to show you. So keep watching. No, it's good. What's up, guys and girls? Ellie Nick here with Anthony, who's another Italian boy, nice Italian boy, and he's from the Bronx, and this is his creation, and it's fantastic. This is all hand, hand bent frame, right? All handmade, our own fixture. Amazing, isn't that? Handmade, the whole frame. Nickel plated. Did you build the motor? No, my buddy did it. Okay. Uh, what is the motor? It was a 650, it's a 750 board now. It's got a Gildoni head, all aluminum, hand polished. Mark 5 carbs. What's the front end? That's a 35 millimeter. Um, it's a narrow glide. This guy called Twin Cycles did the triple trees for me. Beautiful. Man. Those are my wheels. I do my own invaders now. Oh, really? Yep. You made these wheels? Yeah. yeah they're fantastic. I love the contrast between the nickel and the polished aluminum. And how'd you come up with, did you draw this frame out on paper first? No, actually I started with a bend in the front, just in a, in a vise. You can go to the Instagram and see it. So you just started just bending shit? Just started bending shit. I have a fixture that puts the neck and the motor mounts and the rear axle in the right place. And my philosophy is, as long as those are in the right place, Everything else around it is just candy. I mean, you could put a pretzel in there as long as that's what we'll so they, the bike they just kind of fell together. Just fell together. They're the best ones. Yep. They really are. I just won it. My, my last full build, it fell together. Just it was so easy. 
And I look at it and I'll go, how did I do that? <laughs> do you look at that and say, how did you do it? Well, it sounds funny, but my wife and I would go in the shop at night with a cup of coffee and basically look at it, and the bike is telling us what it wants. We, we really don't make a plan. Is this the name of your company? Yes, it is. Old School Choppers. Old Cool Choppers. Old School Choppers. Yeah, play on words. Yeah. Yeah, everything about it, I love it, man. Thank you. Just love it. What's the what's the website? That's it, oldschoolchoppers.com. Okay. So that's the website right there. Oldschoolchoppers.com. But way well, amazing. He he's not finished yet. He's got he's got to do the fuel lines and yeah. throttle cables and the throttle. But it's beautiful, man. Thank you. I know Barry. Barry would flip out over this bike. He'd be his new hero. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, even the tank is made out of steel, but we grass plated it and cleared it. Yeah, it looks fantastic, man. I love nickel. It's got a little imperfections, but you know, like I said, you know. Yeah, I saw a couple little paint flaws and stuff. Yeah, but that's, yeah. that's what it's okay. Doing, you know? Yeah, that's it's all right. That's it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. There's no two of them. No, that's fantastic. I think this should have been at Born Free, man. Well, I'd love to get there. That's the show that you make a name for yourself. Well, I think it's global. If I can get an invitation, I'd love to go. Oh, you get, be you by send that them video of this bike, you'll get an invitation. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. No question about it. This is top notch, man. All right, guys, keep watching. Check out his website. Find him on social media. It's, it's an amazing build, man. Some whack shit right there, but it's cool. What's going on, kids, though, Nick? Mid Ohio. Motor Marini, three and a half. I like how they did the three and a half. Little 350 V twin. Very well made motorcycle. Like quality, like all the stuff that they used was, was tight quality stuff. They're cool. Cool looking bike. Some Ducati singles. And the king of all mini bikes. I don't care what anyone says, this is the king of all mini bikes. 180cc two stroke Benelli Volcano biggest CC mini highest horsepower mini bike ever made factory no sold by Cosmopolitan Motors in Hatboro Pennsylvania a fully restored one's 10 grand he's asking 25 for this one but it needs a full restoration but it's all there most of it yeah it's the fastest street legal mini bike they ever made Let's see what else we got going on here. If I see anything cool, I'll make sure I shoot it. Hit that share button for me. I appreciate it. See you guys. Capri. Easy runner, though. Completely impractical, but lovely. Oh, completely impractical. A cool shit. <laughs> Super cool, though. Yeah. It's running, running art. That's what I call it, running art. I'm going to walk around in a circle and look disoriented. Do you have to know the lights work on it or not? It's cool. I love the check in the paint. It's all original. Definitely cool. And it runs. Running art. What's he got on it? 1800 bucks. Problem is, it has no purpose. I like these fat cat big tires, Suzuki's. Because you know why? Because you can ride them in the snow. It's one of the only bikes you can ride in the snow. They'll go right through the snow, man. That guy just bought that. So I'm at Mid Ohio Swap Meet, one of the biggest in the United States, if not the biggest. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. And whatever you want's here, man. You just gotta look for it. We're gonna look through all the boxes and everything. All right, you guys keep watching. I'll keep posting. See you guys. What's going on, kids? Ellie Nick, out in the yard of Sport Wheels, trying to find a treasure. Never know what you're gonna find sport wheels. <laughs> Lots of gold wings, I know that. I'm not looking for a gold wing today though. 
Let's go back in this dirt bike pack, this dirt bike pile. It's back in that back corner's Kawasaki pile. Not many people go back there. What's in this side? Looks like just mismatched Yamaha. I see a lot of Yamaha stuff and some Honda. There's a Boltaco. Looks like right here is Honda, but Yamaha, and then all in there is all early Yamaha DT stuff. This is the Kawasaki section that no one ever makes into. Some remnants. Not a lot though. You don't see too many complete bikes. Pretty soon these weeds will take over and you won't see anything. There's a nice two stroke pipe right there. Yeah, I don't feel like walking in the weeds. That's why no one goes back there. There's too many weeds. Ticks. This is all Yamaha stuff. DT stuff. All DT stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. Honda. Honda. I guess Honda. I think we're getting into AT ATVs and four wheelers over here. These are Yamaha Vision. No one wants those. Yamaha. This is all Yamaha. The Yamaha section. So. That crazy sus rear suspension inside the frame. Mono. Seats. Got a lot of seats. Thousands and thousands of seats, but even more of that, we got more carburetors than seats <laughs> I think sport wheels you need there's nothing good unless you just need parts like you need a bowl or a body or a nourishment valve or something that's here emulsion tubes a lot of carburetors actually a lot of them they go this whole this is all carburetors too all down there, carburetors all the way down. All right, if I find anything cool, I'll let you guys know. Because this place is massive, there's a whole nother yard back there. All right, see you guys. What's up, people? Oh, and Nick. Okay, so this bike is just has the craziest design. This is a 48 IME made in Germany. And you look at it, you don't see anything too unusual. Right? Like, eh, I don't see anything weird about it. It's weird. Okay. First of all, the front end's only one sided. There's no there's no tube on this side. See? No tube. Just one one tube going down. It's not even a tube. It's that's the only shock right there. Second. Look at the engine. Do you see? A carburetor or an exhaust? You don't, because the carburetor is inside there, and the exhaust is right here. It's actually the swing arm. <laughs> Look, it comes all the way back, bolts to the wheel, and there's the exhaust pipe. It's the craziest thing you've ever seen, man. And it's one sided also. There's no swing them on the other side, it's a floating wheel. Pretty weird, huh? There's the suspension, mono shock with seat suspension too. Little air pump for the tires. 
Look, look. Floating, floating wheel. One side swing arm. There was one of these at Meekum last year. I should have bought it. It didn't sell for very much. But I should have bought it because it is, I mean, come on. Look at that. So unusual. Very unusual bike right there. Just design wise, it's crazy. I mean, very, very crazy design. Very unusual. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And hit that share button for me, I appreciate it. 1955 48cc Alpino. 1955 48cc Alpino. Just different color combos. 1955. They like that 45cc. All different color combos. Here's one that's different. More of a city bike. Another one, different color combo. They all look like they're unrestored. Or someone did a heck of a job. This one looks restored. The other one wasn't. Didn't. They had a lot of 49, 49cc. Let's keep going. It looks like we got a caperoni. Caperoni. I had a caperoni. I sold it because it was too slow. <laughs> but they're cool bikes. With the stamped frame and like Zundap. Very, very Zundapish. Another Caparoa. This is the one I had right here. So I had this bike, same bike. The stamp frame. It was just looked very slow. Oh, that's beautiful there. Look at that. Aramachi 1950 125 cc with the motor right underneath the seat. That is really nice. Fantastic. Look at the foot peg coming from the top. Ah, that's beautiful. Look at that tank. Look at the tank. Fantastic. Ducati 1960 125 singles. Another Ducati. And then American style Ducati. This is the singles that we know, 1971, 125 single. What's this little bike? I don't know this. 48cc Ducati, wow. That is the littlest Ducati I've ever seen. It's a survivor there, man. Unrestored. All right. You guys keep watching and I'll keep shooting. This is just one floor of many. <laughs> Private collection of Luciana Battisti. Very few people get to come see this, so take it in. All right, guys, hit that share button for me. I appreciate it. The, the normal share. So this is the sport because, model. Yes, because this is just used for the, the whole Italian competition. competition. Milano, right. Taranto. What's, what's this? Il mento qui. The pain. Oh, for the chin. Yeah, because it's like <laughs> 20 hours driving. A chin pad, because it was endurance racing. You know, drive 20 endurance. hours. Yeah, like, endurance. Like you last year in Sicily. Yeah, 20 hours. You, you, you got tired yeah. and you... <laughs> Imagine being on this bike for 20 hours, and that's where your chin went. It's foam. No thanks. No thanks. This is the heaven of motor being... Yeah, Factory. I see. I see that. I didn't know. Quello è quello che avevo io da Rabbetto. When he was fourteen, like all the other guy in he Italy, had a motorbike. Could start to drive motorbike, and this has been his first motorbike. First one, really. And how how old are you now? How old is he now? And now how old are you? Hey, quanti anni hai? 74. 74 so, years old. 60 years old. <laughs> and he bought this bike 60, when he was 60. 60, because in Italy we started at 14. 14 years old. No, 
This is 60 years old. But he had it when he was 14. Yeah. 200 cc? This is 200 or 250? 200 cc. 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 You guys have seen this bike run before. I did a start up on this bike. I don't know if it's electric. Look at the motor he has. Look at the motor he has here. Jeez. The engine like the first one. Yeah. So the carburetor is in the crank. This is one of the first one. The balestrino. The one that had the balestra. This is a really nice bike. 200 cc, two stroke, hey, egg motor. Hey, this is 98 cc. 98? Yeah. Really? No, they made it 98. 98. This is older than the, this one. Great motor. Okay. Keep watching, I'll keep shooting. Hit that share button for me.